Hey guys, I'm Brett, and today we're going to be learning about Todorov's narrative theory. I'm someone who believes we need to know the rules before we can break the rules. Todorov's narrative theory is basically a structural template of how stories should be told. But before we learn that, we need to learn a little bit more about Todorov. This is Todorov. With glasses like that, you know he means business. Zvetan Todorov was a Bulgarian French historian, philosopher, structuralist, literary critic, sociologist, essayist, and geologist. And I didn't steal all that from Wikipedia. Because of this, he had a big impact in the literary world. He analysed stories and created a formula that showed how the most successful stories were told. This formula was so successful at creating new stories that it slowly transitioned into the TV and film industry. This formula goes a little like this. It starts off with an equilibrium. This is where everything's fine and everybody's happy. Then there is a disruption of the equilibrium. Something happens that ruins the original equilibrium. Next comes the recognition of this disruption. This is where the main character usually finds out what is happening. Next it is the attempt to repair. This is where the main character tries to solve the issue and in doing so leads to the new equilibrium. The new equilibrium is the end of the film or TV show and this can be positive or negative. You can apply Todorov's narrative theory to most stories. There's now going to be some spoilers for some older films like The Step Brothers and Lord of the Rings but if you haven't seen them anyway what are you doing with your life? So as the spoiler police said The Lord of the Rings is a great example of Todorov's narrative theory The Shire is a great example of a positive equilibrium Then the Nazgul are then seen looking for the One Ring This is the disturbance of the equilibrium And this is where Gandalf shows up and tells the main characters that they need to dispose of the One Ring because the Nazgul are looking for it That is the recognition of the disturbance Frodo then sets off on his quest to dispose of the One Ring that is the attempt to repair. The One Ring is then destroyed in Mount Doom, which then creates a positive equilibrium. Frodo and company can go back to the Shire and live a normal life like they were before. A lot of crime investigation TV shows use this structure. It is very well established and it is easy to follow for the audience. Shows like NCIS, iZombie, CSI, and Sherlock are all culprits of using this guide. Even comedies use Todorov's narrative theory. Think of Step Brothers. The equilibrium is at the start, where everyone's living their normal lives, and Will Ferrell's mum goes to a conference and falls in love with the person holding the conference, which ends up being John C. Riley's dad. The disturbance of the equilibrium is when they go to move in together, and John C. Riley and Will Ferrell can't see eye to eye. The recognition of this disturbance is when both of the parents are called home because their children are fighting outside on the lawn. Next, there is an attempt to repair. They both go their own ways and start their own lives, which then leads to the new equilibrium. They catch up at the Catalina wine mixer and they realize how much they love and miss each other by finally performing on stage together and actually getting along. So I hope this helped you understand Todorov's theory a little bit better with examples, and I hope to see you in the next video. But I've been Brett, and you've been totally awesome.